All right, welcome back to the big boy. Taking a look at Panzer Battles from MMP. It's uh, part of the SCS system, standard combat system, playing the 4.1 scenario, which is the main campaign, I believe. And starting the second turn, or we're in second activation in the second turn, I thought I'd give a quick little recap and so you can see what's gone on. Um, basically, Russian forces over here trying to cross at rivers and bridges and your your attack factor is divided by a third when you're trying to attack across a bridge uh, it's pretty pretty rough going to uh, execute an attack so you're going to need some artillery there that's effective but because this is a chip pull system where uh, each side alternates pulling a chit out of their own cup <coughs> you don't really know who's going to activate and when so it tends to lead to a little uh, little guessing game here and there. Opening moves for the Soviets were probably not ideal. I got very aggressive uh, with 5th tank or what was on the board with 5th tank. And in hindsight, of course, you know, I, I, I got a little over enthusiastic, right? You know, I was trying to get down into here and uh, past the edge just off screen. Uh, let me just back a little bit so you can see uh, we're trying to secure areas down here and block supply routes and all that sort of stuff. And I, I kind of kind of went for it a little bit too hard, not realizing exactly how effective 11th Panzer's arrival was going to be. So we moved all of the Soviet formations forward, did some attacking. They killed several steps of units, but uh, mainly forced a lot of retreating and it was uh, I'm thinking, well, this is going to be over real quick because the Soviets were, were busting, busting butt left, right and center and cracking skulls and all that sort of stuff. Now, the, the challenge is that once 11th Panzer arrives, well, it's a whole new ball game because you have uh, they can activate up to three times in a turn. I believe it is. Let's check. I've got one on the board right now. Yeah, there's two more activations for them, and then, then everybody else activates as well. Anyone who's not from 11th Panzer, all the guys with the white stripe are 11th Panzer. So if you play your cards right, with three activations, you could potentially get nine attacks with every unit if you were careful uh, and smart. And then, uh, worst case, you're probably going to get two if you're prepared to take some low odds, uh, low odds overruns. Now, so in terms of gameplay, uh, looking from, I guess, right flank and then all the way across down through here, you can see there's big gaps in the lines and it's very fluid. And these movement rates allow the units uh, with yellow stripes, if you know the SCS system, 14 movement points, that's, uh, you know, that's, <clears throat> nearly halfway across the board and then with a, a yellow stripe you'll get a second move in your activation an exploit move in which you can only overrun you can't um, you cannot uh, what I'm trying to think you cannot just do normal combat so 28 movement points you can zip around here and <clears throat> therein probably lies the the problem and, and for me anyway is that these turns are two days long in in some cases and I think there's one turn here that's three days long seven and eight nine and ten eleven through thirteen and then fourteen through sixteen that's three days two days and then two days so it's an odd timing 500 meter hexes and these significant movement rates plus you have road march, which means you can move anywhere on the board as long as you don't enter a zone of control or uh, I think you've got to be three hexes away maybe. I forget, it's here somewhere, but uh, I, I've used it <clears throat> and we probably won't be using it much now unless we need to do a fire brigade drill for one side or the other. But uh, that allows you enormous movements. Now, if, you're, if you screw up, of course, and leave channels open uh, somewhere here, for instance, then I can zip right up along this road and come up to a place where you weren't expecting me 
So there's a lot of thought that needs to go into tightening up sort of the, the road network and things like that. So in turn two, uh, the Soviets activated their uh, first tank fifth mech formation and they are pulling back because they took pretty significant losses. One, two, three, four, five uh, battalions or, uh, yeah, so these are battalions, five battalions of, of tanks and armored cars and stuff have been lost. Several st steps on the board lost. So they are pulling back. And unfortunately, they get two activations a turn with them. And now they're really filling in the in the gaps. And I need to be able to move my infantry up to support them. But I haven't had those activations yet. The infantry activated early in the last turn. And uh, it's really been a, a, a swirling tank battle in and around here with tanks lunging from one side of the board to the other to conduct combat. And then in the exploit phase, if they're not in the zone of someone's zone of control, they can then duck duck in and uh, run across the map and overrun somebody, and then you know Bob's your uncle type of thing. So it's been uh, it's been very very fun. It's pretty interesting. I don't know uh, too much about the battle uh, situation. I've only played Stalingrad Pocket and. Uh, I also I also played Forty uh, Seventh Panzer Corps. I think that's the same topic, and I have one other game that might be on this as well that I think I've played, but I forget what it's called. So it's pretty interesting so far. I'm having fun with it. That's all that really matters at the moment. Uh, we've just conducted uh, artillery barrages, and I'm just getting ready to start move moving the German units, uh, looking to do some overruns here and here. And uh, maybe, uh, you know, then get some attacks in and knock out some of this, this armor and then consolidate this force and try and push through in either either this direction up here or, or this way here in anticipation of the, of the rest of the Soviet forces coming on turn four or later. So we've got to we've got to pay good attention to that and not forget to let them come on. But it'd be nice if I could re regain some control of this river line here. It will make it very difficult for the uh, the Soviet player all the way along here if I could push these guys back even a little bit and then force the Russians to come in and around. Then maybe uh, we can buy ourselves some time and and uh, keep hold of some victory locations that we'll need to to win to actually win the battle. All right, thought I'd just check in with you, a quick little turn one, turn two update, and we'll uh, we'll do some more later on. I don't know if I missed anything significant here. I, I was going to read you all the different attacks we did, but that's kind of boring. So, And I wouldn't be able to find them on the map anyway. All right, so uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.